couple drinks, that's the motherfucking recipe. Czyli widać w kierunku raz kolejnego z Cebu Gwrócia, ten jest dwa, dzisiaj w końcu nie wiem, co skończyliśmy. Ja już wiem, jak skończyć ten cały poziom, tak mi się wydaje. E, obejrzałem, wiecie, typowo trochę na YouTubie. E, musimy dać to, pokazać to dla łowcy nagród, żeby on nam rzucił kokos. Blub, blub, X. Milk, peppermint, and salt. A barkeeper's worst nightmare destroys hours of good work in seconds. Good idea. Good idea. Snooks, 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 snooks. No problem. Later, let's watch. You. You. Ah, yes. No. Dałem się w 5 minut ogarnąć wszystko, zobaczcie na YouTube. Jestem szybki. No, teraz bierzemy to. Kokos przycinamy o miecz. Wiecie, jak będzie trudno i merwiele, no muszę sprawdzić, no. Bo nie chcę tak jak wcześniej, jak w, jak w szkole, męczyć was nie wiadomo co, nie? Ale pierwsza część była z coraz łatwiejszą. Pierwsza część była łatwiejsza. Już musimy iść zamówić jeden drink. Musimy zamówić mojito! O mój Boże. My. Dobra, dzięki. No i teraz. Okej. Okay. Tylko musicie połączyć to. To. Teraz musimy iść tam na górę tego piętaka. Um. Szybko. Tutaj tą wodę tu. No i teraz musimy to obrócić. Słoną wodę, bo musimy z tego sól zdobyć. No. I teraz musimy zabrać sól ze środka. I wodę musimy połączyć to. I potem będziemy musieli to wymieszać. Podejdziemy sobie tu. I teraz wymieszaj i lek na kaco. I teraz sobie są ruchy. Musimy użyć to, to. I to. Czyli to. To. I to. I na koniec. No. Nawet nie wiem, czy trzeba ogólnie brać jakie co chcecie, ale ja na filmiku widziałem, że właśnie on tych używał. Więc to i teraz możemy obudzić Nate'a. What? No. What the? It tastes like... Yoo-hoo! Yoo and it's also driven away that lovely drunkenness. Finally. Can you get the lamp now? No. Grosz mi. Musimy jak najszybciej wybrać z tego, co sądzę, że ska lampa nie jest tego bardzo. Nie można kupić taki kostyw. Cool suit. 
Make it yourself? You don't know anything about engineering. I don't know anything about small talk. Let's leave it at that. <laughs> okay. Sure, we need to get out of this cemetery. There'll be plenty of other opportunities to find fame and fortune out there. We're here because of the magic lamp, and we're only going to leave this island with it. Okay. Says who? This here. Okay. There's something shady no, going on. Can't you see it? The lamp isn't worth it. A lamp with a gin in it that grants you three wishes. That's worth pretty much everything. Anyway, we need it to get off this island. Why? The Red Pirate chained up the Mary with a magic padlock. Only he can open it, or a powerful spell. And I take it you don't want to leave the Mary behind. No. I'll think of something. Huh. One wish for you, one for me, and we'll sell the third to the highest bidder. That's what we agreed. If we use one wish to free the Mary, then, there's still one wish for me, and one to sell. Where's the problem? But- I don't care what you do with your wish. Release the Mary, or leave her here. Charming. Really? Charming. All right then. What was the plan again? You were gonna put the Red Pirate in the Palace Guard out of action. Check. Well, apart from the ape. Well, as soon as it's out of the way, I come in and get the lamp. And you're really going to come in through the Crystal Dome without Red noticing? Swift and silent. No problem. Okay. He has some really powerful artifacts in there. If he catches us... You just take care of the monkey. I'll take care of the rest. Okay. Stop keeping me from my work, you little chatterbox. Oh. <sighs> <sighs> Hmm. I can imagine critters responsible for this. It would seem that while I was analyzing our situation in the water trough, he was just causing mischief. Pirates bird. His father was probably a parrot with a chick in every port. Hey, you ugly bird. Get off those peanuts, you ugly bird. Huh, he can talk. Yes. My Mary. The red pirate himself chained her up when we arrived. I wasn't expecting that. Granted, it did used to be his ship, and he's attached to her. So huge magic padlock? It's a bit over the top if you ask me. Jesus Once we've got the gin, I wonder Okay. The contract. Mudach. Dobra, szybko dawaj Nate. Nate! Bo musimy Nate'em teraz. Wziąć kot. Wziąć to. I teraz po położyć kot. That looks promised. No. Perfekcyjnie w czas. I... No i nie ma ptaka. Good night racing. Fajny fez. Fajny fez. What the fuck? Już go nałóż. Czy jakiś ahab. Teraz musimy jeszcze zwierzaka zwołać. Tak. Musimy zamówić Mary.
Thank you. Take it easy, Pee Wee. Dobra, teraz musimy to jeszcze raz zrobić. Taka. Bierzemy zwierzaka. Wypijemy płonącą merę. Pijamy zaraz będzie. I trzeba zamówić znowu mery. Jesus, skąd on to wszystko bierze? To jest taki drink pełny, patrzcie. Aż się spocił. Masz. Pięknie. Now all we have to do is get you out of there. That's my job. Right. How long will it take? In the meantime, I could. What were you saying? And that's why you should always have a reliable partner. It was nothing, really. Oh, I wasn't talking to you. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. <laughs> get ready for the big show, Critter. Oh, hello. Um... You're a, a new one. Yes. Ta -da! Well, what? Aren't you supposed to put on a big show? Ta -da. Good grief. Then it's not the beginning. I'm sure that you are the only one with a lamp. As you're a jinn, you have to grant me three wishes, right? Um, of course. Yes, sure. But? But it would be nice if, well, can we agree on three small wishes? No. Jak definiujesz małżeństwo? Jestem człowiekiem w wybuji białej wyobraźni. Nie jestem zainteresowany moim życiem. Najpierw o tym szkutkę, ale będziemy może się później. Jak definiujesz małe? Jeśli kingdom with immeasurable riches, then it's only allowed to be a small kingdom. Yes, well, I could perhaps come up with a coin. A coin? I'm trying to impress an elf princess. Do you really think a coin is going to blow her away? I'm just not that good at magic. Not that good at magic? <sighs> Take ten breaths and count deeply. All in good time, Nate. All in good time. Oh, I uh, always thought gins were godlike super magicians with healthy egos. Oh, yeah. They're great. Uh, but aren't you a gin, too? <laughs> Oh, well, yes, that's true, of course. I mean, not that you aren't great. I I just thought you'd be bigger. <laughs> My brothers are all bigger. They serve the most powerful rulers in the universe. Me, uh, you know, they sent me here to practice. They said no one in this strange old world would really notice if I screwed things up. Excellent. But you can call me Master Nate. What's yours? Benjamin bin Nabil Tafik bin Ekrem Kamal bin Abbas ibn Hadshi. Let's start with something easy. Open that. Oh. It's not really that easy. Not that easy? Please don't pressure me. I don't like it when people get on my back. Concentrate and open it. That's my wish. <sighs> All right then. I did it. Did you see that? The padlock. You're supposed to open the padlock. But, but that's a magic padlock. I can't do that. Moses. Benny, now. But what if I do something wrong? Benny. Benny. That's how long have we known each other? About a minute. And in that time, you've only disappointed me once. 
Really? Yes, I believe in you. <laughs> Let it all out, Benny. It's you against the padlock. Well, uh, well, all right then. I can explain. The lamp belongs to me. Uh, 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 uh oh. Why are you feel that, baby? Don't move. I wish I could comply to your request, really. No, no, Chris, Chris, I'm so happy. You who I'm bottom of round. Cool. The Archmage claims that there are hardly any opportunities for the common citizen to improve their lot. The rich stay rich, the poor stay poor. That's nonsense, of course. Shit, Have you got that? Nonsense. Yep, got it. He pleads for more education for the poor as well. What do you say to that? Too complicated. My party and I have found a simpler way. From tomorrow, Anyone can be a winner in life. I present the lottery. And the winners can move from the lower town to the upper town. The winner? Once a month, we grant one citizen from the lower town a better life in our midst. And you will report on it, Mr. Fox. The winner's new fabulous life and how I made it possible. The winner. It's singular. The first draw is tomorrow. I expect to see it all over the paper. Very well, madam. Ale ludzie, patrzcie, sprzedawca z pierwszej części jest. Jezu, ile czasu on był w ogóle mnie w odcinkach. To jest mój ulubiony sprzedawca. Kupyc Pil. Jezus, jak wypchnięta. Hello, Bill. Wilma. Jakie do interesy? Pamiętasz te garnki? Sto garnków? Coś takiego? But isn't that the problem? They want to work, but there aren't any jobs. There's enough work. I've offered a couple of them work. Yes, but they'd like to be paid. You see, so it is all about gold. You <laughs> give those layabouts a little finger and they take the whole hand. And who's supposed to pay for it? The honest trader. Yes, it's some influence on the other problem. council leader's side, right? You bet. All the traders are. She's one of us after all, even if only by marriage. Her husband, old Van Vuren, was the richest trader in the region. The region? Been dead two years. Was the last Van Vuren. His father and his uncle before him were full-blooded salesmen. Out of their parents' vast and powerful trading group, they made an even vaster and more powerful trading group. Okay. Van Buren knew what to do. And the widow knows too. She knows the hardships the traders suffer and is sure to cut taxes. Do you even pay taxes? No, but they're too high nonetheless. It's a bit of much Looks like your crane's ready. Oh yes, finally I can lower goods straight down to my store. Saves on customs duty and paying bribes to the town guard down by the gate. Is that legal? Uh -uh. Not paying bribes? Don't know. But nowadays, an honest trader's got to look out for number one. I have to be going, Bill. See you next time. See ya. And Bill. The delivery dock for goods delivered by airship. Bill is one of the town's biggest merchants, and with the war over, more goods land here every day. That's not. Staple foods and the like are grown in the villages around the town. The farmers bring them to the market daily. They can hardly produce enough. Many fields are overgrown, and there's a lack of experienced farmers, good seed, and animals. The goods landing here come from farther away, things that can't be produced locally. 
No nie. To ten sam strażnik mi miejski z tej z pierwszej części. To ten typ to po prostu był. All of the expensive shops in Seastone are here in the upper town. This bakery makes the finest pies, the most delicious cakes and the most amazing chocolates. Luckily, I don't have enough money to buy myself a treat every day. Otherwise, it wouldn't be too long before I no longer fit into my teacher's robe. Okay. This is torture. The bakery's closed, but the shop window displays all the things you could enjoy if it were open. Mm. Yes, that's good this is torture. This is torture. Should lead directly to Seastone sewers. I would like to say that the sewers in this town are a true marvel of engineering skill. But in truth, the stink here in midsummer is absolutely uh, breathtaking. Almost every house in the upper town has a drain leading to the sewer. In the lower town, things look different. Many residents just tip their effluence into the street and trust that it will somehow make its way below. Ugh, creepy. The prison. I always try to get past this window fast. Uh, uh, hello? Is anyone there? You bet there is. <laughs> My name is Wilbur Weathervane. Who are you? Wilbur Weathervane? Good alias. Call me Mr. X. My friends call me X. Okay. I'm very much a Strange name. Still, better than Goalpost Head, I guess. Why are you locked up? They want me out of the way. I know too much. No, I see. 
But they don't just lock people up for being intelligent. They do, if you know the wrong things. We are being watched. By whom? They are watching us. Who oh, okay. are they? The wizards? Them. The ones watching us. They're out there. Okay. How long have you been in prison? A few days, but I suspect they will never let me out. I'm a political prisoner. They want to silence me. Tell everyone. The truth is out there. It's almost a cup there. In Seastone? Uh, yes. Probably. What the fuck? Do you really think you'll be in there long? They certainly won't let me go before the elections. That Van Buren wants to show her strength, and it's anybody's guess what'll happen afterwards. Either way, I'm not gonna wait until some court passes judgment on me. I'll escape as soon as I have the chance. Hmm. Well then, uh, I have to be going. Take care of yourself, brother. Oh, yeah, yeah, keep me with you, my friend, my name. The coat of arms of the proud town of Seastone, capital of the Alliance and largest town in all Aventasia. Aventasia. With refugee camp on the outskirts of town, Seastone seems larger than ever before. Seastone was never captured during the war. The town has massive walls and stretches about 200 meters into the air like a tower. That's why they called the Great War the War of the Two Towers. Seastone against the Archwitch Motroga's Dark Tower. Okay. I learned that yes, kurde. Do you know if you're just a new lady? Do you know what it is? Perfect scene, I'm going to. The local newspaper. Fine, I'm going to see the other side of the world. We are equal opportunity providers. Tomorrow morning, we will present our solution to the poverty problem. We are the only ones with simple and efficient solutions to today's problems. There are loads of election posters hanging here beside the paper. Death entered the election campaign last week. His slogans are death to all and death is the solution. Hmm. What's this? Hey! Archmage Alistair is a traitor. He uses the artifact of divine fate for his own purposes rather than to help everyone. Uh, and here, friends of the Archmage claim he never served in the war and he was not born in Seastone. Those are lies. What do you mean? But śmierć, 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 Zakopaliśmy, bo on firma ten, jak to się nazywa, ludzi żywcem za chciał zakopywać. I on był pierwszą osobą przecież. Jego kapelusz na tym mieliśmy. reporting unfairly and someone has glued these fabrications about the art mage to the wall. No wonder his lead in the polls is disappearing. Ja to nie dobrą pamięć. Kiedy ja skończyłem serię z tego jakieś dwa lata temu? Hello Mr. Shieldhand. Pamiętam, że szybko coś skończyłem serię. Never. If it isn't little Weathervane. Yes, it's me. Weathervane to you, Mr. Shieldman. Professor Weathervane, to be precise. Oh, your lordship, forgive me for not kneeling. Oh, we was. Take them to the captain of the town guard. Its captain and its only member. Why aren't there more guards? Surely it's impossible for you to keep the peace all by yourself. Council leader of the merchants doesn't see it that way. She handpicked me for this post. Nothing is more important than loyalty, she said. Okay. How are things in the lower town? Same as here, just dirtier and everything smaller. What about the refugees? Don't know. It's been a couple of weeks since I've been down there. From up here, it looks like the tent city has stopped growing. Either sure. there are no new refugees arriving or the place is just full. Aren't you responsible for the lower town too? Can hardly be expected to go down there. The place is crawling with criminals. But anyway, the anarchists have erected barricades. Even if I wanted to, I couldn't get into the tent city. Huh? Why is the gate closed? I want to go to the lower town. Curfew. After dark, uh, residents of the upper town can only get the lower town to the Who came up with that? Council leader Van Buren. She's worried about the well-being of the residents of the upper town. And where do I get one of these permits? Nowhere today. You can go to the town hall and apply for one there tomorrow. 
But, but I'm supposed to meet Remy in the inn tonight. Top. There are posters over there spreading lies about the Archmage. So? Those are lies. Anyone could read them. A couple might even believe them. No. Nah, what can you do? You, you, you could remove them. I would do it myself, but I don't have any water or a spatula, and, and it's your job. <sighs> All right, then. Tomorrow. I've got way too much to do now. Okay. Papa. So, what are you doing? I'm guarding the town. I'm the town guard. Guard. That's a shit. Looks like Bill the Merchant's crane is finally finished. It's been two days. He's been transporting things up and down all day. Huh? And you inspected the goods? Why should I? Isn't there a toll on transporting goods like alcohol and pipe weed and other stuff from the upper town to the lower town? There are real crimes going on in this town. I don't even have the resources to take care of them. Bill said something about bribing the town guard. Would you know anything about that? It's an outrageous allegation. The town guard is not bribable. That's good. Otherwise, you'd probably have too much. I mean, if no more goods go through the gate here, then no one needs to be bribed, eh? That's right. Hmm. So you're saying Bill is cheating the state on his well earned taxes because he's smuggling goods into the lower town? You want to ban him from running the crane? No. Bill and his colleagues are very influential. Anyway, no one said anything about a ban, did they? No. No. I've got another idea. How can I do it? Yeah, key. What do you need to do to stop the smuggling? Someone would have to mark one of Bill's barrels of alcohol and then order it from the lower town. If the said mark barrel turns up there tonight without the bribe uh, tax having been paid, then we have our evidence. You can be really clever, Mr. Shield Hand. I can't leave this place. I have to guard the town, you see. But you, you can fulfill your civic duty and help the town guard. Civic duty? You want me to do your job? Not for nothing, of course. What do you want in return? It's a good cigar. It's a restricted access to the lower town. For a minute, I thought you wanted a pony or something similarly useless. Yeah, Virgin. What makes you say that? You say strange things sometimes. Have you never noticed? Yeah, but a pony? Admit it. You were thinking about it. That was tight. Hmm. Maybe so, but I would still prefer to have free access to the lower town. Excellent. You help me convict Bill, and I give you the key to the gate. Yeah, deal. <laughs> deal. Yeah. What is it? Should we go and check? Rozumiem. Przeszmy się tu rzeźbę. No i co? Co chcesz? Coś tak naprawdę podoba. Jest z tego tydzień. He's already lost both legs and his sword in battle, but his fighting spirit is unbroken. Tis but a scratch is chiseled into the stone above the statue. <laughs> Some famous knight. Perfect scene. The gate yeah. of the lower town is closed. According to Mr. Shieldhand, no, no one in the lower man. town is allowed into the lower town after sunset. Okay. Tell you what I'm saying, man. Co mam w sobie? O! Ja chcę mu czapkę. Jeeeee! Bill. Ten. To było takie proste. Hello, Bill. Wilma. Yes. It's me. Co zaliczy o loterii? Mogłeś opuścić mnie swoim nią. Why are you telling me all this stuff? A bit about the customs, Mr. Shieldhand, the council leader. You're one of us. You live in the upper town. You're a professor at the magic school. Mm -hmm. Hey, tell me, 
You must have really bled the Archmage on that one, right? I mean, as the only available qualified mage. You probably get your weight in gold every month as compensation. Well, I get an apple, and I don't really like to talk about it much. <laughs> I understand. In the end, the others want their piece of the cake too. Tak. Co się dzieje na tarczy? Lottery. Clever, ain't it? What do you mean? Well, you've got to give the rabble the feeling they could make it too, right? Make what? Becoming one of us. As long as everyone down there thinks their current situation is only a temporary condition on the way to fame and fortune, they leave us in peace. But some actually do make it. Yes, exactly. That's the spirit. Anyone can make it if they just try hard enough. Meh. <laughs> ah. If, if your crane can reach all the way to the lower town, then you could lower me down there, right? Certainly. Oh. Hmm, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a snag here. No, no snag. You pay me mm, three gold pieces and I'll lower you down. A very simple deal. I don't have that much. Pull the other one. Couldn't you maybe just lower me <laughs> down? Yeah, <laughs> pretty please? <laughs> I thought as much. Thanks. When you're smuggling goods, aren't you worried that Mr. Shieldhand might get wise to you? <laughs> Anton, huh? he's not exactly the brightest light in the firmament. After all, he is the captain of the guard. He can't tell his elbow from his ass. Van Buren will cut him off as soon as she's won the election. You don't want stupid yes men around when you're the leader. You want clever yes men. The stupid ones don't know how to keep quiet. I have to be going, Bill. See you next time. See ya. Ale co teraz z tą skrzynką? Z tym tym? W ogóle to nic tam nie możemy zrobić, oczywiście. Jakbyśmy mogli. No i magiczna. O! Co mogę zrobić? Powiedz mi o golemach? Co o golemach? A no tak, bo ostatnio wtedy było, że golem mogą za nas wszystko posprzątać. Are they living beings or machines? They are tools for mages. They do heavy physical work for them. The mage inserts a piece of paper with commands written on it in its mouth, and the golem carries out these commands. What? Did I say golem? I get a golem, or do I have to build one myself? Golems are very rare and expensive, but their construction. Isn't difficult in principle. Okay. In principle, the body of a golem is a kind of statue of stone or other in organic materials. Uh -huh. In order to bring the lifeless statue to life, a spell written uh -huh. in magic ink must be placed in its mouth. And nobody knows this formula. That is not correct. I know the spell. But how? Ah, Master Alistair! He must have sensed that I'd need a golem to help me. The body should be easy enough to build, and you know the spell, so what's the problem? The spell must be written in magic ink. Some of the ingredients are very rare. Ah, Piffle, I'm good at finding rare things. What's the best way to go about building a golem's body? A golem needs a torso of stone, similar. It also needs strong arms to carry heavy weights. And a couple of strong legs to move around on. Correct. The head of a golem must be made of clay and needs a mouth in which command notes can be inserted. Hmm, that means I'll have to make the head myself. Unless I just happen to find a finished golem head lying around somewhere. Mm-hmm. Okay. Golem. What ingredients are needed for this magic ink? Does it have to be brewed like a magic potion? Like, stir three times to the left and then four quick turns to the right? Oh, we were double tapping with it. No. A simple <laughs> yeah, mix like of the ingredients oh. is sufficient. However, precise quantities are crucial. Okay. What are the ingredients? Exactly two centiliters of crocodile tears, 
exactly 12 team drops of dragon sweat and exactly one sea stone small ounces of soot. What in the world is 12 team? Dragon it. sweat? It's kind of hard to make a dragon sweat. Correct. Dragon sweat is very rare. Eh, I'll think of something. Can you list the ingredients for me? No problem. You can see the list by looking at me in the inventory. What do you mean, looking at you in the inventory? You'll manage. Uh, I might have some more. And I might answer. Pink presto. Friedelin may have nibbled on it, but it's still very handy when I need to write. Dobrze. To teraz. Ludzie, nie, najlepiej skończymy tutaj odcinek. Więc już 40 minut jest. Ludzie, to było na tyle w tym odcinku. Dziękuję Wam bardzo za oglądanie, jeżeli chcecie, to zostawcie w górę. Bo dla smaku, to jest bardzo serdecznie i na razie.